What's up guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a review of the Tati Beauty Blendiful. So we have one Blendiful and the Baby Blender and these retail for $18 and today we're going to do a review on that so we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. So it comes in a package like this, or at the top off, and then it has the Harsh Lines Exos Tati, and it has the cleaning instructions on the back. So it's the little baby one, and then the big one that looks like, ooh, these are really, really soft. We're going to go in with the Tatcha, Tatcha the Silk Canvas. And I have a very small face, so like this, can y'all see that, how much of my face that takes up? So I might get more use out of this smaller one, but they did say you could use this, so I'm going to fold it and dip into this. don't know how much I should be taking. It's just going to take a little bit to start out with. And I'm going to pat it in. I normally apply my primer just with my hands, my fingers. So doing this is very weird to me, but... It works. Next, we're going to move into foundation, and this is the Tarte Found Sealer Foundation in 27N, light, medium, neutral. I'm going to start with applying this directly on here, and I'm going to start with one pump, and just go from there because it's not like a regular beauty sponge, so I don't think it's going to soak up as much product as like a beauty sponge would. So I'm going to go in and just start off with one pump. My gosh. This is making it really full coverage. This looks like a filter kind of. I think this is applying the product really, really nicely. I look like peanut butter baby right now because it's not blended. I wonder if I wipe. Does it do any? I usually don't like wiping or swiping on my face just because I have dry skin and I feel like that just makes my skin look really bad and more dry than usual. I take that on my eyelid, which I normally don't do, but I'm not going to do any um, eyeshadow look today, so we're just going to put that on our eyelid. And we might be able to use what's left on here. That's the one thing I do like is how um, flexible and bendable this is. I feel, at least for me personally, it might just be because I have a small face. But getting the beauty blender to go right on the inner and inner part of the eye and in these little small places is a little bit difficult for me. But this I really like. Like I'm having no issues getting it anywhere. My foundation looks really, really good. This isn't a super full coverage foundation, as you can see. Like there's that one bump right there. This looks really, really nice. It is getting dirty, but what do you expect? Just like your beauty blender gets dirty when you use it. We're going to go ahead and go in with concealer, and we're going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in the shade C1. We're going to just blend that out. I'm going to start off with going in with this side, which I usually don't go in with the same side I blend my foundation with because I feel like it makes it darker. But this is the smaller side, so let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to go in with a different edge and try to blend this out. I'm going to use tapping motions. So 
applied really nicely. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go in with the Huda Cantor in the shade Light. Gonna, should I use the edge? No, we're gonna, oh, I can't get it in like that one. I guess we're gonna use an edge here and just dip it in. A little goes a long way with this, so we're gonna just kinda tap it on. Now I'm gonna go like this with it and try to blend it out. I do think for me blending this out with a smaller one would be a little better for me just because I have such a small face and going like this on my face is kind of not loving it. Oh. We're gonna go in with some powder next. So far everything is going on really really nicely. still don't know if I prefer this over a sponge yet, but it is nice that I haven't had to switch anything up or change the brushes or this or that, you know? Like, it's, I can just use everything, just use this one thing to get everything done. I think that's really, really nice. Alright, so I got a little bit of powder in here. We're just going to go and fold it, dip it into the powder, and press it into the skin. It's pulling powder really nicely too. So far I think this is a really 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 nice product because I didn't really expect it to apply creams that well because usually things like this are for powder and it's still applying everything really really nicely. So that's good. Alright so far it's applying everything really really nicely. My skin kind of looks I don't know how to explain it. It looks really smooth. Like, my under eyes usually have a lot more wrinkles. But it really smoothed it out. And it's not the powder. Like, I mean, the powder does have a smoothing effect. But, like, it's way more smooth than normal. Okay. We're going to try to apply some blush. This is the Tarte Blush in Party Dress. And we're going to try it with the Baby Blendiful. This one you can also use for highlight, which I'm going to try in a little bit, but we're going to take one of these little edges, the little heart edge, right there, and just dip it into the blush a little bit and try applying some blush. The big one might be better for this. Let's see. We'll try the big blendiful on the other side for blush and see which one works. But, oh, see, I just messed up. I was like, it's not really showing up. Let me go a little more in. Well, this is what happens when you go a little more in. It's okay, just tap it out. Going for some rosy cheeks today. I guess that's fine. Now we're going to try the big blendiful. And try a little bit of blush. I don't know if it claimed to do blush or anything, but you know, we're just gonna go for it. I'm trying to find, okay, we're gonna use this edge and just go in like that. It applies blush very nicely too. I like taking my blush into my forehead area a little bit and onto my nose. Just a little bit. This one I definitely went too heavy handed. Honestly, I kind of like this side better for the blush. Might have just been because I learned my lesson over here. But yeah, it looks really really pretty. I didn't expect this to work that good. It is working really, really well. We're going to try a little bit of highlighter. This is the ColourPop highlighter 
in flexitarian. I'm going to fold this and go in with this side right here. Just boop it in there. And let's see how this is. Oh, I probably should have tried it with a cream highlighter. Oh well, we're gonna try it with this. Oh, y'all, do you see that? with a way lighter hand because it doesn't the product just sits there on the little sponge so go in a lighter handed than what I did and it'll look a little better like this side it looks more of a glow rather than that straight line and now we're going to take a little bit and boop our little nose and our chin area. Cupid's bow. A little up here and a little up here. This worked really, really well. I think this is amazing. Um, especially if you're traveling. Because I know I hate when I travel and I have to pack a gazillion different brushes and sponges and all of that and what I like is you don't have to wet this. I would always forget to wet my beauty blender and I'd sit down here ready to do my makeup I'd be like oh you gotta be kidding me now I gotta go wet it. This you don't even have to wet and it works with cream products and dry powder powder products. I think this is really really good. Um I don't know if like with okay first things that my beauty blenders or beauty sponges whatever you would like to call them after I use them I don't use that exact same one again because I have so many beauty sponges I'll pick up a different one and I'll use that and then I'll clean them all at the end of like the week or whatever um so I know some people like to just use the same one over and over and over again I personally don't so I don't know if you could continuously use this over and over and over again like every like day after day without washing it but I think you might be able to. What's up guys, it's Alyssa, editing Alyssa here, and I just wanted to update you guys on using the Blend of Foam more than once. So far, I've used it twice in a row without washing it, so it, you are able to do that, and I just wanted to update you guys on that. I have a small face, so people who have bigger faces might use more of this than me. But this is what I use, and there's still some patches that don't have anything on it. The mini one, you can definitely get a lot of use out of too. I, you could probably even use it for powdering and concealing underneath the eye because it's really, really small. I didn't try that. I tried to use the big one for all of that. But both of these do really, really work. And you get two things for $18. I think, personally, I think it's worth it. Um, I mean, what, what, I don't remember how much a beauty blender is, but I think it's around that price range. And here you're getting two for $18. I think it's, that's a really good deal. And I feel like these might be better for the environment because like you do, or more eco-friendly because beautiful ones you do end up throwing out. But these I think you're just able to wash and keep using. Not exactly sure about that, but that's kind of what I think. Can you flip this? Y'all, you can flip this little Tati thing. I don't know if you're supposed to, but you can flip it around and then use the other side. I'm assuming this side is made out of the same stuff as this side. So you could do that and get more use out of it. It just won't say Tati Beauty because that will be inside out. But you can do that. That is a really cool thing. Um, $18 could be a lot of money for some people. For other people, it may not be a lot of money. But I think if you have the money and you're interested in this, I would say go for it. I personally like it. This was not sent to me. I bought this with my own money. And this is an unbiased review. Um, I personally think that it's worth it. It applied everything to the skin really, really well. My skin looks amazing. Like, it looks like it has a filter on it. Like, it just looks so smooth. I'm impressed. This is probably gonna, this is gonna be like my new thing. I guess that's what you call, like, way to apply my makeup. 
because I was actually going to buy new sponges and then I bought this and I was like, let me hold off on that. Maybe this will be my new thing. And it is, y'all. This is, really is a game changer. Like she said it was going to be a game changer. It is a game changer. So definitely, I definitely think that it's worth it. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave the link down below for Tati Beauty's website. That if So if you are interested, you can go ahead and go buy yourself one of them. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload.